Beautiful places in Norway you have to visit. There are so many best places in Norway to visit. I mean, you've got the Troms region in the very north, Olesund on the west coast and lovely little places like Flam that are nestled deep in the mountains. Beautiful places in Norway you have to visit. Plus, don't even get me started with all the incredible fjords you should visit. The whole country is a proper gold mine of places that every traveler should see. This is the best view in Tromsø, Norway. Beautiful places in Norway you have to visit obviously, Norway has an incredible diversity that goes far beyond its beautiful scenery, with its culture being just as exciting and beautiful to experience beautiful places in Norway you have to visit beautiful places in Norway you have to visit the trek to the highest point in Guy Ranger, Dalsnipa. And the best view of the Guy Ranger Fjord. From the likes of the Sami people in the north with their historic cultural traditions to the cosmopolitan culture of Oslo, there's a little slice of Norwegian culture that everyone will enjoy. Tronaltunga is as like a small road plateau, and one of the most spectacular mountain formations in Norway. It stands 1,100 mossel, approximately 700 meters above Ringenaldsvatnet Lake in Shegadal. People come from all over the world to experience Tronaltunga. The trail is 27 kilometers long, round trip, and starts from Shegadal. This is a marked trail from the parking place at Shegadal to Tronaltunga, leading up into the mountain, with climb of 1,000 meters. The hike takes 10 to 12 hours, including breaks. This is a long and challenging hike. There are area signs along the way showing how far you have gone and how much is left. There is also partial mobile phone coverage along the route. From Magellatop, you can enjoy the view of Folkafana National Park. The hike continues through beautiful natural surroundings before you reach the highlight of the trip, Tralkunga, with its fantastic view of Ringadal and Folkafana. Equipment Remember to bring good hiking shoes and a change of clothes. Use wind and waterproof outer clothing, as well as a hat, scarf and mittens. Bring a map and a compass, food and drink, remember you have to make the return trip. Remember a flashlight and a basic first aid kit. The weather can change rapidly, so check the weather report before you leave. Don't go if there is a strong wind, thick fog or precipitation. The area is comprised of steep cliffs without guardrails, so take care. There are a couple of smaller emergency cabins along the route. Lufudan is a place of contrasts. It's a natural wonder with thriving local communities. It's where mountains meet the sea, and where local businesses meet recreation. Lufutin's distinctive magic lies in its ability to bring together everyday local life with a global interest in its natural beauty. Lufutin is known for its majestic nature. And with it comes great responsibility. Learn more about safety in our mountains. The cultural heritage of Lufutin is rich. And the art you find here is marveled internationally.
Nusfjord Arctic Resort is your perfect starting point for making lifelong memories. Our adventures and experiences are co-created with the local inhabitants. We invite you to set off on a true Nordic fishing excursion with Captain Jan Martin and his crew on the boat Selter and Hapcher, kayak under snow-capped peaks, or trek the ancient mountain pathways for panoramic views of the Lufuten archipelago. Don't allow yourself to soak in the essence of Lufuten. Enjoy magnificent views from the open-air sauna, take a guided walk through the historical center, or indulge in our fine dining experiences at restaurant Caroline or Oriana Tavern, with ingredients from the pristine natural surroundings. The resort is also well equipped for special events and meetings. Salteriat Gallery News Fjord Art and culture are an important part of Nusfjord Arctic Resort. In the heart of Nusfjord is Salteriat, a salt house where fish roe was previously salted and stored. This salt house building has since been transformed into an art gallery where art is displayed over two floors. Flammen Myrdal has also been named one of the greatest engineering feats. The Flam Railway, just over 20 kilometers long, took almost 20 years to complete, from 1923 to 1940. 80% of the section is at a gradient of 5.5% and it has no fewer than 20 tunnels, one of them even passes through a 180 degree curve. After about 50 minutes, which includes a stop for photos at Josfossen, you'll leave the train at Vatna House and 811 meters above sea level, just before the terminal at Myrdal. The hospitality and offers in Flam have been built on nearly 200 years of tourism. You will find the charming village deep in the Orlands Fjord, in the heart of Fjord Norway. This is the perfect base for exploring some of the most spectacular natural attractions in Norway, with a wide choice of activities. The world-famous Flamspana is an obvious highlight, another is a fjord cruise on the UNESCO World Heritage listed Neroy Fjord, while Scandinavia's longest zip line is a third. Read on to find your favorites.
the little idyllic village by the deep blue fjord. Guy Ranger was added to UNESCO's famous World Heritage List in 2005, and is one of the most visited attractions in Norway. The deep blue fjord and snow-covered peaks have been attracting tourists since the early 1800s. Guy Ranger Fjorden is 15 kilometers long and approximately 260 meters at its deepest, and the surrounding mountains tower 1,700 meters above sea level. Ice Age glaciers carved out the deep fjords and formed the tall mountains that have given Guy Ranger its spectacular and magical appearance. The best way to view the fjord is by boat, for example local fjord crews or Hurtigruten, a ship route along the coast from Bergen to north of the Arctic Circle and on to Kirkenes. In Guy Ranger, you can see the unique waterfalls de Susustra, the Seven Sisters, with a fall height of 300 meters, and the bottle-shaped waterfall Friarine, the Suter, with a fall of 275 meters. Along the fjord are also several impressive viewpoints such as Flydelsjuve, Ornsbingen, with a good view of Guy Ranger, Guy Ranger Fjorden and the Seven Sisters, and Dalsniba Mountain, 1,476 Mosel. Dalsniba also has the Guy Ranger Skywalk viewing platform, with its graded floor and glass guardrail. This allows visitors to look right down onto Guy Ranger Fjorden and Blabreen Glacier. The skywalk gives the viewer a feeling of floating above a 500-meter drop. Frederiksta after Sarpsburg was burned to the ground during the Northern Seven Years' War, the ruling king, Frederick II, decided by royal decree to rebuild the city 15 kilometers, 9 miles, south of the original location. This new site's proximity to the sea and the accessible open land surrounding it made it a better location than the old one. The name Frederiksta was first used in a letter from the king dated February 6, 1569. The temporary fortification built during the Hannibal War, 1644 to 1645, between Sweden and Denmark-Norway, became permanent in the 1660s. The work on the fortifications was first led by Willem Kucheron and later Johann Kasper van Sissignon. During the next 60 years, several fortifications at the Frederikstad Fortress were built, including Isegren, Kongsten, and Sissignon. In 1735, a suburb on the western side of Glama, Vestsiden, was founded. This part later grew faster than the old city, and became the dominant city center. Most of the buildings in the old city burned down during a fire in 1764. Frederiksta Museum is located in Old Frederiksta. The museum shows the history of the city and the surrounding region. The museum also manages Alinga Erd Manor in Ansoy and Torgoten Fort. Frederiksta Museum was founded in 1903. Since 2003, the museum's management has been located in Toyhuset in Old Town, Oslo Oslo is the economic and governmental center of Norway. The city is also a hub of Norwegian trade, banking, industry and shipping. It is an important center for maritime industries and maritime trade in Europe. The city is home to many companies within the maritime sector, some of which are among the world's largest shipping companies, shipbrokers and maritime insurance brokers. Oslo is a pilot city of the Council of Europe and the European Commission Intercultural Cities Program. Oslo is considered a global city and was ranked Beta World City in studies carried out by the Globalization and World Cities Study Group and Network in 2008. 16. It was ranked number one in terms of quality of life among European large cities in the European Cities of the Future 2012 report by FD Magazine. 17. A survey conducted by ESA International in 2011 placed Oslo as the second most expensive city in the world for living expenses after Tokyo. The Stavanger Peninsula in southwest Norway, Stavanger counts its official founding year as 1125, the year the Stavanger Cathedral was completed. Stavanger's core is to a large degree 18th and 19th century wooden houses 8, that are protected and considered part of the city's cultural heritage. This has caused the town center and inner city to retain a small town character with an unusually high ratio of detached houses, 9, and has contributed significantly to spreading the city's population growth to outlying parts of Greater Stavanger. 
The city's population rapidly grew in the late 20th century due to its oil industry. Stavanger is known today as the oil capital of Norway. 10. Norwegian energy company Equinor, the largest company in the Nordic region, has its headquarters in Stavanger. 11. Multiple educational institutions for higher education are located in Stavanger. The largest of these is the University of Stavanger. Bergen is located on the west coast of Norway in the heart of the fjords. As a UNESCO World Heritage City and a European City of Culture, the Bergen region has the ideal combination of nature, culture and exciting urban life all year round. In Bergen you can find a range of different accommodation ranging from exclusive hotels to charming bed and breakfasts. In Bergen you can also enjoy some of the finest seafood restaurants in Norway. If you are looking for things to do in Bergen, check out the large selection of activities and attractions. With its ideal location right in the heart of the fjord Norway region, between the Hardanger Fjord and the Sogna Fjord, it is the perfect starting point for day trips to one of the world's biggest scenic attractions, the fjords. From Bergen you are real close to the spectacular fjord experiences, either you want to go on a fjord tour or dive into the experience with mountain and glacier hiking in the majestic mountain landscape skiing in some of Norway's best terrains, biking along the beautiful fjord arms or explore the wet element with white water rafting or fishing in the ocean along the beautiful coastline.